everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. And today my top 10 list for you talks about um, kids games that are good for adults. Now, earlier this week I played some kids games and this is what kind of put it in my mind to do this. Uh, most kids games are, you, adults play them to amuse the children. Uh, I play this game with you, it's not very good, but the kid's having fun and I want to have as much fun as possible, but it's all about making sure my children have fun. But there are some games that are so fun, you might catch yourself playing them when there's no kids around. So these are 10 games in that regard. Now, it is difficult, like, well, this game is a great kids game to play with adults, and I'll say, that's not even really a kids game. So this, this list can vary, but here are 10 games that I thought of. Number 10 is Coconuts. Now, if you remember back in the day, Weapons and Warriors, where you shot at each other at crossbows and catapults, where you were shooting discs or cubes or whatever it was at each other, well, Coconuts has these little launchers, and you're basically trying to launch balls into the coconuts, the, the cups here. It's just silly fun. Now, this is the kind of game that's frenetic. You'll have things bouncing everywhere, um, but just the whole idea of launching stuff, and in fact, you'll find that dexterity games is a huge part of this list, but my number 10 here would be the game Coconuts. Number nine is Boom Bang Gold. Now, uh, there's another constant you'll see on this list. There's a lot of Haba games here because Haba makes a ton of children's games. Well, this one in particular is really good for adults. In this one, you're mining for gold. Inside this box there are tokens with gold and you're trying to get gold. How do you do that? By throwing dynamite at them literally throwing dynamite. You are throwing these little dynamite tokens into the box, trying to flip things over. It's a silly concept, but it works really well. It's actually not the only game Hop is made about gold. There's another game where you have a, a pot and you're panning for gold, trying to get marbles to roll out. But I think Boom Bang Gold is a little easier to get into, and it's also newer and easier to find. Number eight is the Rolling Gang Game. This is another one that is from Haba. This one's a little trickier to find, but man, I've seen adults playing this at conventions and just laughing the whole time. In this one, you have a bunch of animals that are magnetic and you use the box that you place these animals and then your goal is to have someone else draw cards and they'll say, roll this metal ball between the legs of the pig. Now roll between the donkey. So they're shouting things out and you're just rolling the ball around in this box, trying to get it through the legs as fast as you can. It's a really simple concept concept and of course kids love it but again I found that adults also really enjoy this game the rolling gang game now we have bugs in the kitchen for number seven bugs in the kitchen is a game that uses those little electronic bugs that buzz around and run all over the place I have several here uh, at the studio that I use for various things. I always enjoy playing around with these. Bugs in the Kitchen uses that, and there's just this one cockroach that's running around, um, electronic, it's not gross, it's a little electronic bug, and you're rolling a die, moving silverware so that the bug goes into your opponent's spot instead of your own. Or you can reverse it and have it come to your own instead of the opponent's. It's just a simple roll dice as fast as you can, rotate silverware, see where this bug goes. But it is really funny to watch. It is hilarious. This is one of those games that me and my family pull out all the time, and I can easily see myself pulling this out when the kids aren't there. Number six is Go Go Gelato. Now, there's no question that gelato is an amazing thing to eat. Um, but in this game, you are basically putting scoops of ice cream on, but you can't touch the ice cream. You shouldn't touch ice cream, you weirdo. You put the cones on top of each other and you're moving stuff back and forth. I actually played in a tournament that had only adults in it where we played this game and it's great fun because you flip a card over and it's essentially move the ice cream as fast as you can um, as quickly as you can to beat the other person. So there's dexterity, but there's also logic involved as you're trying to do it in the fewest amounts of steps. Really fun, go, go, gelato. Number five is Looping Louie, or one of the, there's many versions of this. In fact, I think the newest version is Looping Chewy with Chewbacca, but in Looping Louie, there's a guy in an airplane and he's flying around in a circle. And when he comes down to land on your chickens he's going to knock your chicken tokens out you have to hit your flipper at the right time to launch him up in the air again 
It's so ridiculous, and yet I first found out about this game through tournaments that were run for adults for this game. That's all that I, in fact, I suspect more adults play this game than kids, but it's clearly a kid's game as this guy's just flying around, but it can be hilarious. There's definitely skill in the game, knowing when to hit the flipper at the right time, using the right amount of force to hit someone else's chicken. It's really silly fun, and this is not one that's difficult to find. It's often at a lot of thrift stores, too, so that's Looping Louie. Number four is Dr. Eureka. This one's very similar to Go Go Gelato, except this one uses test tubes. And you flip a card over, and all the balls in the test tubes need to be in a certain order, and you just pour them back and forth. I like it better than Go Go Gelato because the pouring from test tubes is better than the ice cream. They're very similar games, but they, again, they both work really well. And again, um, Dr. Eureka is a game I've played with only adults uh, because there's the dexterity of pouring the balls from the test tubes, but there's also the logic of how do I get the balls in the order as fast as I possibly can? It is a lot of fun. Number three is Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters. This is a cooperative game. And with cooperative games, there's a lot of cooperative games that are straight up family games. Like I debated putting Forbidden Island on this list because it's a great family cooperative game. But then I thought, is it really a kid's game? Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters is definitely geared towards kids, as you have a bunch of kids going into a mansion, fighting off ghosts and looking for treasure. That's what it is. But it works really well as you move around in this mansion, trying to fight off the ghosts, has really cool pieces. They made a Ghostbusters themed version of this game, but I think the original one is even better. So just a lot of fun. Cooperative games in general, it's not tremendously easy, but it's also not tremendously hard. It's just a solid little cooperative game, Ghost fighting treasure hunters. Number two is Ice Cool, or Ice Cool 2. They're essentially the same game, uh, and you can combine them to make a bigger version of it. But Ice Cool, you are flicking penguins around. There's these little penguins that have weighted bottoms to them. You flick them, and you're trying to curve them and go through different doorways around the school before another player, who's the hall monitor, catches you. This game won awards, and yet again, I see adults playing this and not, you know, uh, any kids around anywhere in sight. But it's for sure a kids game. In fact, it won the kids game of the year. But it is hilariously fun. This one, you know, when I was making this list, this was the one of the first ones that popped to my mind. And I thought, yes, for sure. Here, kids, this is for you. And then they're peering down the stairs and they're seeing their parents play it because Ice Cool really is that fun. And number one, this is the game I played earlier this week that made me think of this list, is Rhino Hero. Or in some areas it's called Super Rhino, and they made a version of it called Super Rhino Battle. But whatever you call it, this is just a dexterity game for kids, again from Haba, that works really well. You are folding cards, placing these cards. The cards are folded, don't worry, you're not destroying the game. Placing floors with a little bit of an Uno type feel to it, and then moving this Super Rhino Hero. But as the game goes by, you have this giant stack of cards, which is gonna to appeal to most people because at some point in your life, you've tried to build a house of cards. Here you are building that, that big giant castle of cards or a tower of cards, moving the rhino here up, and it is just hilariously fun. In the Dice Tower Library, we have a giant version of this where the cards are huge and the tower, you have to stand on a chair to get to the top of it, but it is just great fun. And again, this is one of those games that I've seen families play, but I've also seen groups of adults just get together and have a good time. So those are 10 games that are, um, you know, essentially for kids. But adults will enjoy playing them a lot. What about you? Are there any games that you think I should have put on this list? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.